seen the corpse to hide the fact that he stole one of her earrings. This man deserves a severe punishment. The victim's relationship with her family wasn't going well. Dropping out of high school, going out every night? Sounds like a typical delinquent. That's not the best way to describe it. Yeah, did the parents' testimonies tell you anything else? Hmm, there's something that bothered me more than just what they said. What caught my attention about the father was... It wasn't major, but there was some injury to his face. And in the mother's testimony, my attention was caught by... Yes, she had some signs of severe bruising as well. But they both said that they'd gotten hurt by falling down. Huh, you're not paying attention. Take a closer look at both of them. They both have multiple injuries, but each injury is in a different state of healing. This means that... How many people do you know who fall down several times a week? I see. You have a point there. Then why were these two- I don't know yet, but they must have a reason for hiding the cause of their injuries. These two facts do tell us something. It's more than that the person who had found the corpse stole something. There's one more important fact involved with this case. Yes, only one of the victim's earrings was at the scene. Either it came off somewhere, or she was only wearing one all along. Where could the other earring have gone? Right. 
Since we now know who she is, this information should be consolidated. 23 years old. She must never have imagined that she would die so young. I don't sympathize with you, but I'll do my best. Identified the vehicle from the accident. Good. That's rather quick. Hey, come on. We're a national government agency. We'll have the recording from the driver's interview later. He pretty much admits to what we suspected had happened. Easy there. It's too early to relax yet. What do you mean? I mean the culprits. Do you think that just catching the truck driver will solve this case? Doesn't it? A 23-year-old woman was walking alone in the mountains eight kilometers from home. You think she was just walking the dog? Okay, that does sound odd. So the investigation's not over yet. Indeed. Go look into the parents' hospital records. From the size of those bruises, they would have needed to be treated at a hospital. Got it. What will you be doing, Dr. Kimishima? I'm going to investigate the victim's house. Keep the parents in custody until I'm done. Right. I'll tell the ones in charge right now. These pieces of glass seem to have come from a mirror. Let's see. Ah, the mirror on the dresser's been broken. I wonder what happened to it. It seems to have come from the mirror on the dresser. Hmm? A reaction to the luminal. It seems there's something here that isn't part of the broken mirror. The it's the same earring that the man who had found the body had stolen. But what would this be doing here? Indeed, all the shattered glass was neatly placed in one area. That means that someone had cleaned up the glass shards. They must have swept up the earring along with the glass. Hmm, if that's the case, was the earring with the glass pieces when the mirror was broken? Hmm, in any case, since it reacted with the spray, there must be blood on this earring. I'll need to have the little guy analyze it and see if it tells us anything. It's an ordinary package of breath mints can get them anywhere, still. Hmm, just as I thought. These aren't mints in here. These markings seem to indicate that this medication was produced for a pharmacy. I might be able to ask the little guy to find out just what it is. How did he seem? It's easy to sympathize with him. Sounds like a case of wrong time, wrong place. I see. All right, I'll check the recorder. Please do. I'll transfer it over to you. I need to pay careful attention to his account of what happened before and after the accident, what Veronica was doing prior to being hit, and what the driver did afterwards. That's what I should be sure to listen for. 